Yeah, what's good, everyone? I want to thank you for tuning in to another Tyler Perry Sisters review. This is the breakdown of the preview that we got for season three, episode 12, entitled The Dollar Tree. Excuse me. <laughs> Not The Dollar Tree. It's called The Dollar Store. The Dollar Store. I don't know where that came from. Anyway, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to try my best to get screenshots. Uh, for this episode if I don't you know don't blame me you know what I'm saying those things are time consuming but I definitely wanted to make sure I got this out to you guys today because I was supposed to do it Saturday I believe and it just didn't happen but I wanted to make sure I did that so if this is your first time coming to my channel welcome if you are a returning family member you already know it's always good you know conversing with y'all going back and forth so without further ado we're gonna get into it so the first scene that we see and I'm gonna try to go in order of the um the preview so first we see Maurice and Q. So Maurice, excuse me, Q tells Maurice, we're going to go to the bank and you're going to give me all the money is what Q says. Now, maybe if Q actually had some aggressive or dangerous energy, I could believe this. I could believe this whole situation. But Q strikes me as the type of dude who would step on a grape and run from the juice. Meaning he ain't about to do a god doggone thing to nobody. Like, he seems to be the type of actor who would be really great in a romantic comedy or a romance film or a film where you have to play, like, the dumb character. I think he would be really good for that, but he doesn't come off as scary or someone who's supposed to inflict fear in the audience. It, 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 it doesn't work for him. So, for me... I laugh at it because I'm like, I really believe that Maurice could knock the hell out of Q before Q would even pull that trigger. And since the um, the episode is entitled The Dollar Store, it really made me think if, is that gun even real? Is this a real gun or a fake gun? Now, it, could be re it could be real and I could just be absolutely wrong in what I'm thinking. But, you know, we'll find out next Wednesday. So the next thing we see of them, Maurice and Q are walking out of Maurice's bedroom. So that was the end of them. Now we get to Karen and Aaron. Jesus, Joseph, Mary, Moses. You know, I'm. Uh, OK, we see Karen telling Aaron for the consillionth millionth time that she still loves Zach. I'm like, damn it. We know. <laughs> we know. I'm so sick of them. I'm, I'm so sick of her. I'm so sick of Zach. They tell they tell Fatima and Aaron that they love each other. They still love each other one time every other episode. It's like, we know. Tyler, stop writing that in the script. We know they love each other. We understand that and we get it. Trust me, it, we know. And I'm not going to go too deep in this because if, if you have been following me for a while, y'all kind of know how I feel about doing breakdowns on previews and trailers and things like that because they could be very misleading. Even though Karen tells Aaron that she still loves Zach, it still doesn't mean that she doesn't want to further things with him. Now, the issue that I have with them is that, you know, I still like them together. But the thing about it is I'm looking at Aaron like, what the hell is he staying around for? What has Karen given him? You know, we know that they've had sex for the first time. But it's like, other than that, what else has Karen, what guarantee has Karen given him as far as like, I want to move forward with you. I want to make something real with you. We still haven't gotten that. You know what I'm saying? We still plan on this thing of her still loving Zach and Zach still loving her. And I'm just, I'm, I'm so, I'm getting tired of that. Like I just, you know, going back into the, you know, the second half of this season is like, you know, and I understand we're picking up exactly where we're left off. So I'm not oblivious to that, but it's like, it's like at some point, Karen, we need to hear you tell Aaron, what's really up? Like, if you're not going to do nothing with the dude, leave him alone. There needs to be some type of establishment of something. I mean, hell, even Fatima and, and Zach made their thing, you know, I guess official um, on the season, for, excuse me, on the mid-season finale. So I'm like, you know, can we at least get some type of like, what the hell are y'all doing? That, that, that's all I'm going to say about that. So Danny and Sabrina. So we see Danny. Um, telling Sabrina, she says, um, she's crazy too. None of y'all got any sense. Uh, um, ma'am. Last time that I checked, Danny doesn't have any sense either. Because I'm thinking to myself, you literally, right in front of the eyes of the audience, you allowed Preston to demote himself 
to a booty call when he wanted to be your man. He wanted to be your confidant. He wanted to be your protector. And you just let it fall through your hands like it was nothing. So you want to talk about somebody who ain't got no sense? Danny, baby girl, you don't have none right now. You don't have none right now. You you, you played yourself. You played yourself. So I'm like, the, to say that somebody don't have sense, we... <laughs> You're walking a tightrope. Now, I'm going to get into, I'm going to pause on sisters, and I'm going to get into Manon. Now, normally, y'all know I don't really say anything about the people, who the actors, or the talent who are portraying these people. However, I read an interview, and if you guys, the TV, I think it's called TV Line, www.tvline.com. I don't know if they have something with sisters or whatever, but a lot of the talent, like Ebony, I believe KJ, and Manon, they all have done interviews with this particular brand. And I was looking at, I was reading Manon's interview about Preston and uh, how she feels about um, Danny. And I'm like, sis, I, I, I really hope you don't believe the things that you're saying. She was like, um, well, you know, Danny didn't really kick Preston out. He just assumed. I said, what? He didn't have to jump to many conclusions and he didn't have to assume much. I was like, trust me, if I'm going to see if I can find the link. Um, if I don't post the link when I upload the video, I will go back and post it. But I believe if you go to www.tvline.com, you'll be able to find this interview. But I was just like, whoa, I really hope Manon don't really think like this. But anyway, back to sisters. Calvin and Sabrina. So, you know, we see that they have slept together yet again. I couldn't tell from the preview, and maybe you guys can um, help me with that if you caught it. I don't know if Calvin told Sabrina I love it or I love you. Either way, I'm not here for it, them, or they. I can't stand them together. When I say I can't, when I say I can't stand Sabrina and Calvin together, I cannot stand them together. I think they have the most elementary relationship of everybody on the show. I am thoroughly convinced that it does not take much for Sabrina to give it up to anybody. Because when we go back and you think about the mid-season finale, her and Calvin didn't talk about much of anything. All they said was, you know, let's do it our way, as if they hadn't been doing it their way the whole time. And I'm just like, <laughs> what's wrong with these people? What is wrong with them? But, you know, they end up in bed. Like I said, nobody has to do really much to get Sabrina, and she she gives it up very easily. You know, that's obvious. So, I just don't want them together. But we saw in the extended trailer, for those of us who have watched the um, the after show, we know that Calvin's still going to be, you know, Calvin's still going to be messing with the white chick. I don't know her name. I'm sorry to call her white chick, but that's the title she has because I don't know her name right now. So, I just don't get it. I, I just, I just really, I just don't get it. So since I don't get it, we, we going to scurry along. So, um, we see that Andy, 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 Andy walks into her office's conference room and she is met by Robin Hayden. And I believe her, I believe the white guy was her boss, but I think we only could see the back of his head, I think, but I'm gonna go back and try to get the screenshots. Like I said, but I think it was her boss. And so they're sitting down and Robin tells her, yeah, I know about the FBI investigation. I know about your boyfriend. I said, well, damn. Huh. Y'all know I couldn't stand him when he first appeared on the scene. Anyway, nothing about Robin. Everything about him rubs me the wrong way. So I'm thinking, is this before him and Andy sleep together or after they sleep together? I don't know. I know I just don't like him. I don't like his vibe. I don't like his energy. I don't like none of that. But since we're on Andy, so let's go to where we see Andy and Gary. And he was like, we were about to get married. And she says, I'm glad that didn't happen. I said, oh, really? Well, I think you owe your friend Karen um, an apology. You owe her a huge thank you as well. Because she ran interference that caused you to rethink making one of the most horrible decisions of your life. And that was marrying Gary. And the fact that he even brought that up by his behind talking about we was going to get married well, you weren't going to consummate your marriage because, you know, you couldn't get it up for her. So what are we saying, bro? What point are you trying to making? What point are you trying to make with we were about to get married? I just, y'all know how I feel about them. <laughs> and if you're new to this and you don't know how I feel about them, I don't like them. 
I don't like them. We see Sabrina. Sabrina walks into the bank and she look. It's a quick, quick scene, but she's walking into the bank kind of suspiciously because it appears that the lights are on, but there's no one there. <laughs> kind of like Sabrina, <laughs> the lights are on, <laughs> but there's no one there. Let me stop because I don't need y'all coming for me. I love the sisters, them my girls. You know, y'all know I make jokes about them and stuff like that. But yeah, y'all, y'all sometimes Sabrina act as if the lights are on, but ain't nobody there. But that's them. That's my girl. That's my dog. That's my girl. But anyway, so Hayden, Hayden still hating, and he's trying to figure out how Zach has the money to purchase multiple homes. And I'm thinking it's none of your business. Hayden is like a mosquito. He's like a, a, a annoying mosquito that you just can't hit or you hit it and you think you done killed it. And so you go to get like a Kleenex or something. And when you come back, it's gone and you realize it ain't dead. He He's like that. He's a zzz, he's that he's just annoying. He's just annoying. But I honestly believe that Hayden is is he's going to follow the money trail. And I think he is going to find out how Zach, you know, came into all of this money. So with Fatima. Um, we see Fatima, she goes into Andy's office and she closes the door and that's where that stops. We don't hear what's going on and we don't see anything else. We do see her on the phone with um, Zach and she's telling him like, this is your house, this is your money. And I, it looks like he was sitting in her kitchen like by the island or whatever. But I think that's all that happened on there. I, you know, a lot of the scenes were very, very like short, so you couldn't make what was going on or the context of the, of the particular scene, you know, we were seeing, um, Andy and Robin kiss and, you know, something going, is something, is something going on here? Yeah, we know it's called horniness. <laughs> like that's what's going on there. But, um, you know, we gonna see, of course we know Andy gonna fall for the okie doke. She gonna, you know, she's still in her feelings with Gary. So we know that she's going to sleep with Robin. Cause that's just what she does. Um, and that was really it. It was a short scene. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see if anything else get released before um, next Wednesday. I'm I'm happy that the show is coming back. I know it's going to get on my nerves. I know that. But I'm here for it. <laughs> and I'm ready for it. I'm ready to see what happens. I do hope that we get some type of resolve for some of these storylines. That could be asking too much. But maybe we could start seeing something happen. You know what I'm saying? Just something happen. But, um, yeah, I think I got everybody. If I missed anything, you know what I'm saying, y'all can correct me. And, it, and truly, if you do know if Calvin said, I love you or I love it, please let me know because that makes a big difference because we already know that he has told Sabrina several times that he loves her and she has never returned the sentiment, and I do not think she's going to return it now. But, uh, but yeah, thank you guys for listening. I didn't want to make this too long. Um, I'm going to be dropping some old sisters videos, um, as the week goes on. Um, I'm basically just answering questions that people ask my opinion on and, you know, things of that nature. So I thank you for listening. You know, sisters will return next Wednesday, October 13th, 9 PM on BET. And, uh, you know, y'all be good out there until next time. One.